Hi, everybody. This is Kim. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And um, I'm listening to a new, new edition. I'm still in love with you. But right now, we're focusing on you, meaning us. So when I say I'm still in love with you, I'm saying I'm still in love with you. I took some time to love people and love on them, build them up and heal them. But now I'm focused on you. I'm talking to you. It's a mirror thing. And that mirror thing also can be where you have reflected to others that you come into communication with concerning who you are, because they would reflect back who they are. And some of who they are is a reflection of who you are and who you've been and vice versa. So um, I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm taking account of who I am holistically at this point in my life because Chiron is in the first house which is Aries, and Aries um, is the house of I am. And I did um, a class with um, some of the people that I meet with about a week ago, um, wholeheartedly, it was very, very deep. So I'm gonna do um, segments here and you'll be able to purchase the links if you're interested in um, Aries uh, in the first house explaining the temperament and also um, the positioning and what Aries can really do uh, for us all and um, what Aries can do for itself at this time. So with Chiron being in Aries, the first house, what that saying is is that there's going to be some issues that have come up because it didn't just go there. It's been there for about a month or two. Um, there's going to be issues that come up between us and others concerning our, our identity. And some of us are sure about who we are, but, you know, it is always segments and times of our life where we're called to reflect on who we are, what we are, how we present ourselves, and um, how we show up in spaces, meaning attitude and motivation. Um, integrity, most of all, because at the end of the day, why would you learn any of these things unless um, you wanted to be a better person? And uh, I know that there are people out there that actually don't believe that they have to look at astrology or um, spirituality to get better. But I want to say this here, if you don't find a faith foundation that takes you within, and that means to uh, go within and look at your internal man, uh, take you out of the external, then you're always going to have challenges that you cannot overcome, and you'll see them. Um, so for instance, someone that always blames others for issues that come up, they can't have a, you know, seem to have a successful healthy relationship or they don't have a good relationship with their parents, um, their children. What we're looking at is um, people that actually make excuses for not presenting a better part of their self to the portion. I believe that my mother and father was the beginning of a seed for me to be come into the world. Excuse my phone is ringing, but I'm not going to answer. I was a seed to come into the world and bring a better or um, a more um, excelled aspect of who they are. I expect that from my children as well, um, that they would be a better um, part of who I am, the uh, DNA upgrade, you know, and um, definitely uh, it's a willful choice to be better. So going back to blaming, there's something about the consciousness that will tell you that you're wrong, but when you listen to your ego, it will say, 
man or girl, you know, what you said is right, because there's something about an individual that arrogance and puffed upness begins to speak through them. Um, some, and, and some of that has to do with their past. However, it does not matter that we had the troubles or trauma in the past. What matters is that we take responsibility and become mature enough to face it and heal it. And that's what Chiron in the first house is about. Um, and, you know, I'm going to put Aries with it in a minute. So Chiron is about healing. It's the wounded healer. So that means that if you had it in your first house, the wounded healer would be speaking to your identity. Um, you may have went through life and people have told you you were this, you were that, you were no good, you were, I, you know, just nothing. And you had to fight those powers that would be speaking to you to resolve within you that you are somebody. You know, you went through um, life and you overcome a lot of battles, but internally you're still going through hurt and pain and that speaks to a wounded healer because no one knows about it and the reason why um people keep it to themselves is because they want they want you know people want you to see the external how great i am how much money i have the cars that i drive um the house that i have that kind of thing they don't know or they don't care because they are part of that massive world walk that they don't they don't care that emotionally they're um they're messed up but the thing about being messed up emotionally is is that after you've held it together for so long inside all of that turmoil is going to erupt and this is hurt and pain and this is you know uh the the place where i don't really know who i am i stood in a place to be um somebody that people would look up to externally, but I didn't go within to look up or get that aspect within uh, to find who I really am. And so what I did is lived a life outside of myself, still with hurt and pain inside, but I produced a image that people would uh, dote on. And you know, the point is with Chiron, everybody is going to feel, um, uh, the pain in some way for them to identify with the pain that is coming from within the trauma. If it was from childhood, if it was something across um, other lives, if you believe in it, if it was something that happened um, when you were a teenager, if you were bullied, you know, this is, is speaking to your inner man. So when you put Aries with it, because Aries and, you know, Chiron are traveling together, what you're gonna have is people exploding because they haven't healed something within themselves. They haven't forgiven. And so Aries is very frustrated. Um, even right now, you know, you can feel it. People wanna do stuff and they wanna be stuff, but they don't even know how the identity of who they are from the past is holding them back. So Aries is making them frustrated. This energy is intertwining and it can cause more problems. And so what I want you to do, if you're interested, you would go to the link and you would email me if you want to purchase the rest of this course um, for the next session. And that would be on how Aries is feeling and how Aries can get to a place of peace because a lot of people are not able to get there right now. So I'll leave that information in the description box and then you can purchase it. It will be um, $7.99, 10 minute video, um, unless we get into more, all right? And so um, thank you for the subscribing, thank you for purchasing, and thank you for more than anything, taking responsibility for your own life. Um, growing up, maturing, and understanding that it is you that makes the choices. It is you and your higher power. And of course, this channel is about people that want to get on the spiritual path. If you need a natal chart, you can email me um, for that. It's 1099. And um, you'll have all of the asteroids on there because Juno and I think um, Pallas Athena is in the place for 
this eclipsed uh, today, July 4th. Happy 4th of July. How about that? Independence. And we're talking about getting free of old wounds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So anyway, everything will be in the description box and you'll be able to purchase um, the next session, if you like, of um, Aries and um, Chiron. Blessings.